Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install MariaDB. Um, we're actually going to be upgrading from MySQL to MariaDB. Uh, it's very easy to do, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing um, that you're going to want to do is uh, go to the Ask Monty knowledge base. That's at kb.askmonty.org and I'm on the installing MariaDB deb files page. Um, on this page, uh, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that there is um, instructions on installing the key that we use to sign all the MariaDB packages. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this line, I'm going to flip over to my terminal and I'm going to go ahead and paste that in and you can see there that it has imported the key. Uh, so now we will be able to um, install the packages without any um, issues. Uh, well, if you install without the, having the key, it will um, complain, basically. It'll still let you, but it'll give you a warning. All right, so now let's flip back to our web browser and let's go to downloads.askmonty.org. Um, when you land there, we're going to go ahead and install the MariaDB 5.2. Uh, click on this big orange button here. Um, now there's lots of different packages listed, but we're running um, Ubuntu here. So we're going to um, set up a repository. So we click on this link, um, and this has a little repository generator. Uh, we're on Ubuntu, as I said. Uh, I'm run I happen to be running uh, Lucid, so I'm going to click on that. And then I am doing MariaDB 5.2. Also, I am located in the United States, so I'm going to choose the OSU OSL mirror. Uh, there's a selection of, of mirrors that are world worldwide. So if you scroll down, you'll see that it's created a um, sources.list entry. So. I'm going to highlight that, flip back over to my um, terminal, and I'm going to edit the Etsy apt sources.list.dmariadb.list. Uh, this file doesn't exist, uh, but doing this will create it. And now I'm going to paste in uh, my the stuff I highlighted over in the web browser. So there it is. Um, go ahead and save that and quit. Now all I have to do is run a sudo apt get update to update everything. There we go. All right. So now we've updated. So now all we have to do is we do a sudo apt git install MariaDB server. And it's going to ask me, it's going to let me know that there's some extra packages that it's going to install, including the MariaDB client package, the core, the server, um, and the server core, and the client libraries. So do I want to continue? Yes. So now it's going to go out and it's going to start installing and it shouldn't take too long. All right, it's going to ask me for um, password for the root user. Um, I'm just going to put something in here and put it in again. There we go. Now it's going to ask if I want to um, replace the uh, config file for it. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And that's it. We are done. Uh, now just to show you, um, run the MySQL command line client. 
there we go. It says we are connected to MariaDB. Um, and this version that we are on is 5.2.10. Um, and all my databases are here. Um, if I do show databases, there we go. I only have one extra database, an LDS Scriptures database. Let's go ahead and use that. All right, so there we go. Uh, my database has been changed. And now just to show you that all my data is there, let me po paste in a select statement that finds the shortest verse. So there we go. Actually, it finds all the verses that are shorter than 20 characters. So, and there we go. So all of my data is still there. Um, very easy, very quick. And very simple. So thanks for watching today, our installing MariaDB screencast. Uh, thanks a lot and have a nice day.